All right, how are we doing guys? Okay, so we're gonna do another cleaning video. Now, these two products which I'm about to show you, I didn't even know they existed until this guy, Scott, mentioned uh, on the Muck Off and S-Doc cleaning video, the previous cleaning video that I did. He said, Pro Green MX products all the way. 0% salt, corrosion free, so it can be left to dwell longer than five minutes. Well worth a try, mate. And cheaper than these two products. Cheaper than Muckoff and Estoc. Pro Green Snow Foam Rinse. Pro Green Bike Wash. Uh, rinse again. Incredible cleaning products that are, all, that are friendly to all components. The Pro Green MX Aftershine is also good for a high gloss finish. Give them a try and you'll be impressed tend to say oh tend tend to stay away from Halford's stuff okay uh, Scott thank you very much for this recommendation like I said I never heard of these products before this point in time so let's have a quick look I have gone for the pro green MX bike wash they make a point of saying it's salt free so basically you can leave this on your bike for a, quite a long period of time um, in comparison to stuff like Makoff and Estoc, and I've got the Aftershine, which he also recommended, which is apparently to leave a high gloss finish on your bike after you've washed it with the bike wash. Now, as before in these sort of cleaning products, I'm just going to go by exactly how it states on the bottle. In this case, for the bike wash, it says. Rinse excess dirt off the bike, apply Pro Green MX Bike Wash, leave to soak for 15 to 20 minutes, which is quite a considerable amount of time. Uh, the longer soak time, the better the results, as it is a non-aggressive. Uh, rinse off. For best results, use Pro Green MX Aftershine following. Okay. So basically, wet the bike, spray it on, give it a little scrub. Um, Rinse off again, apply the aftershine, and this states, after cleaning your bike with the bike wash, ensure that all traces of WD-40 or similar are removed before applying aftershine. Whilst the bike is still wet, spray aftershine directly to the bike surface. Do not spray on the seat, brakes, or handlebar grips, because obviously this is going to have a slightly sort of... Uh, Glossy finish to it, so you don't you don't think it's too slippery uh, where, where your backside or your hands are going to be. Um, once the bike has been covered, leave to air dry for 30 minutes. And in capital letters, do not use a cloth to wipe over. So, basically you spray this on whilst the bike is still wet, and then you forget about it. Walk away, and when you come back, when it's all settled and dried down, that's it, you're done. You should be left with a nice shiny looking bike now usually what i do is after i've cleaned my bike with whatever product i just go over the engine casings with a bit of wd-40 um the downside to that is although yes it may sort of penetrate the bolts a bit and protect it slightly when you start your bike up and it gets hot it burns off and you get all this smoke coming off it so i'm interested to see how well this is the one that interests me the most the aftershine the bike wash one i think i don't know i'd imagine it's going to be as good as the muck off and the s doc and the uh, uh the other bike cleaners that i've got but the bike is outside now it's a perfect day for cleaning a bike it's overcast it's quite cool so let's just get cracking All right, so the areas that I'm going to concentrate on most today are the ones that take the brunt of all rubbish and grime on the road. In this bike's case, uh, the swing arm always takes a bit of a beating. You can see that build up of dust and, and rubbish in there. This hasn't been cleaned for a good couple of weeks. Pretty bad along there. All the plastics look just gray and manky. Engine casings again, they get this fine film of dust, it just gets baked on and baked on over time. Uh, the radiator covers, again, you can see they just they go from black to this kind of washed out browny grey, just looks grim. So, I'm interested to, to see how well the aftershine brings that back to life. Um, 
the uh, front fender back there pretty horrible the fork covers again you know, pretty bad same again with this side it's no different baked on grime um, it's the funny thing is when you stand back from it you think oh, that's not too bad but getting up close it's it's pretty pretty bad so we'll give the exhaust a gun over as well the actual bit up here which I'm interested in getting done is I mean this stuff cleans up really well regardless of what you use I could use a bit of Mr Sheen and a cloth and that come up sparkling but it's this stuff down here all down there it just goes grey hopefully you can see that so that's where the aftershine hopefully should uh, really come into play so let's get the hose on it and soak it down all right let's start off with bike wash goes on nice and oh it smells lovely oh it smells really nice it smells like um it smells a bit like talcum powder oddly enough all right there we go giving that a good soak now so we'll leave that for how long did they say is it 15 minutes or half an hour da, 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 da. let's see blah, 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 blah. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes okay what is the time quick billy quick 10.06 so let's say about uh, blah, 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 blah. five past uh, let's say 25 past we'll leave it to give it a good chance you know and um, I have to say that is one of the nicest smelling bike cleaners I've ever used I would spray that on myself after I've had a shower slap it on like a bit of a uh, bit of brute <laughs> all right guys so let's come back in uh, 20 I'm gonna give the um actually I'm gonna give the swing arm especially the swing arm just a little rub down with a brush get right in there Then I'm just going to apply a little bit more and coat that in it. Get some on the calipers there. All right. I'm just going to spray a little bit more on the caliper, on the uh, caliper, on the swing arm. It doesn't actually say. It doesn't actually say to brush it off. I think it's probably best to, especially when it's um, caked in mud. All right, let's come back in 20 minutes. All right, the time is up. Let's have a look. Yes, yes, very nice. Okay. That definitely looks better. All right, so let's rinse this off and get the aftershine on. And let's just double check how long we have to wait for the aftershine. It is 30 minutes. Okay, let's rinse off, apply that, and then wait for 30 minutes. Let's get this aftershine on.
can't believe it, it's hard to believe you don't have to sort of buff this off with a cloth but it says not to in capital letters so I won't and uh, right that's it we'll we'll leave it as that and hopefully God, this stuff smells amazing yeah we'll leave it at that and uh, we'll come back in half an hour it's the easiest clean I've ever done so far okay our time is up let's have a look now one thing I noticed is okay let's have a look at the swing arm first because that was the you can definitely see the shine on there it's lifted all that grime up no problem it's a nice shine on there one thing I noticed is the rubber where I've sprayed that stuff on it's got a quite a nice shine to it whereas compared to this where I didn't spray it on you can see the difference there so that's without the aftershine on and that's with the aftershine on still it's a bit grimy in the in the middle there but it wasn't exactly what I would call a, a deep clean on my part but yeah it's um, all the black and actually there as well look it's with the aftershine and there is without it can you see that all right get my fat hand out of the way okay let's have a look at the radiator cowlings yeah nice it's a nice shine on there it's a nice gloss so let's see yeah there you go so that's where that's where I didn't apply it can you see that all right that kind of milky gray color and also under there as well obviously I didn't apply it there but where I did apply it it's come up very nice you can see the shine there all right let's have a look at the front fender yes look at that remember this is without any buffing no buffing just spray it on and leave it for half an hour not so well on this one it's still a bit cloudy it's better but it's still a bit cloudy and back here was bad but yeah you can see the shine on there now still still some um, grounding dirt on there but again for a quick wash it's not too bad the aftershine stuff is actually very good quite impressed with that let's have a look on this side see the shine on the air nice and up here yeah the plastics look good whereas before there you go there's a good example can you see down there where it's grey and milky where obviously I didn't spray it and there is where I did spray it little sort of weird effect going on there hopefully that will sort of dry out but um, yeah it's quite nice let's have a look at the engine casings pretty good pretty clean the difference is I mean this is what it looks like when I spray WD-40 on it but hopefully and I don't think it will this won't burn off so look at the exhaust it's brought up the carbon fiber really nice there also there as well and the actual pipe itself is looking good it's not a deep clean but and also you can see there where I missed out get out of the way you just there where it's a bit cloudy again yeah not too bad in the swing arm pretty shiny all right there you go let's get back in the old garage all right guys what do you think I think the bike wash did a pretty admirable job of getting rid of that grounding muck on the swing arm and also on the engine casings and the front fender considering I didn't brush those at all so this did a pretty decent job I'm quite impressed with that the aftershine on the swing arm it looks really good on the front fender on the front forks it's still a little bit kind of weird looking like a little bit kind of streaky and cloudy um, the carbon fiber looks lovely on the exhaust and also the actual pipe itself has come up pretty well considering all you do is spray it on and then walk away no buffing nothing like that so there you go there's the results, you've seen the before and after. I shall let you make your own mind up on it. I personally think they're pretty good. 
Um, it's just another sort of weapon to your cleaning arsenal, if you like. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy. See you later on. Bye. say bike smells lovely <laughs>